right, we are on our way down to see our first piece of street art. We are gonna go see the Kraken. It's actually really hard to get to, so I've kind of had to park behind it. I'll try and do a long shot of this piece of art in a sec. The Kraken was painted by an artist called Flem, and it's right on the corner of Canning Highway and the Queen Victoria Bridge. You literally cannot miss it as you come into Fremantle. Alright, so we're in Fremantle and I am looking for street art. I wish I'll find some. Our next piece of street art is this giant praying mantis and this is by an artist called Amok Island and it is scary. It is large. <laughs> Uh, first stop in the city of Perth is Wolf Lane and this was a project by a company called Form and it's literally this laneway that's got masses of art like this awesome piece and Dracula here. Kind of looks like he's giving you a cuddle. I love this piece by Pixel Pancho uh, because it looks like the dialects from Doctor Who. We are going to get you to get you. Moving on. Out of all of the pieces, this in Wolf Lane has got to be my favourite. Uh, this one is outside the, this pub called The Cheeky Sparrow and it's by this artist called Destroy. And I love this one because it's just kind of, it's really beautiful but it's kind of freaky yet sinister at the same time. It's my style. And this is the rest of Wolf Lane. Guys, this is my last site in the city. This car park is literally plastered with street art. It's freaking amazing. So many artists went into making the street art for this car park and uh, Wolf Lane and I'll list all of the artists involved down below. Leaderville has really upped its street art game lately and I found this awesome little alleyway which is literally packed with art including this like psychedelic hypnotic mural and this massive shark in the skate park is awesome. It's got like heaps of really cool dudes including these I think they're flaming sausages, mice and flaming sausages. I could, could be wrong. <laughs> there are about 500 street art sites in Perth uh, since last count. So I've just kind of shown you a few of my favorites. I really hope you enjoyed this little tour of street art. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.